Yes, there's much more. <laughs> Mix and match, right? I'm going to order for jelly beef. Such a beautiful peanut flavor. Oh, oh, oh that is nice. What is up guys? Welcome to a Filipino food vlog today on our channel. We are so, so lucky today. We've been invited to our friend Sati's place for a nice, cute, intimate Filipino food dinner. We're gonna have two dishes that we're really excited about. The one is kare kare, which we haven't had in almost a year. I wow. love kare kare. I attempted at cooking it myself some time ago when we were still in Miami Beach. And the second dish that we're having today is kinilao, made with a very special fish that is native to the waters around Shargao. I didn't get the name, but it kind of looks like salmon and it has hints of a salmon taste, but not as intense as salmon. So it's perfect for a dish like kinilao. Um, can't wait to dig into the food. Zati's gonna show us a little bit of the cooking process, how she makes her kare kare and how she makes her kinilao. And then we're gonna sit down together and just devour this food. I'm so excited, super hungry, super stoked for this. I'm going to show you how to cook kare kare. Nice. This is not the usual food that I usually like, that I prepare usually for my friends. But for today, because we have the ox stripe, so oh. we're gonna make kare kare. Nice. Okay, ox stripe is uh, the lining from the stomach of the beef. So it's tender now. We're ready to put the peanut butter. Nice. So how long has this been ah, simmering? We we had it overnight. Oh wow. Because we have the slow cooker. Yeah. So it's good. So it's super tender. Mm -hmm. So I, I don't know how the experts do it, but this is how I do it. Nice. So we'll just put uh, a little bit of the peanut butter. I feel like uh, a lot of Filipino dishes um, have have like a base recipe, but everybody seems to like make it their own. Yep, I, I don't really have a recipe as long as it wouldn't poison you, as long as you can eat it, so it's good. Nice. <laughs> so, so Zaki, where does your passion for cooking come from? Um, I really don't know how to cook before, but then when I got married, I think for a Filipina, it's a requirement that you know how to cook. <laughs> so. Yeah, I got it from there. I was married for like 14 years. And yeah, I could cook with my eyes closed. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you can get this in a supermarket, but this is really good. So nice. yeah, we usually mix it with the karakari mix. I put one pocket, so it has the color. It has to be red yeah. in color. Actually, my car, I made kare kare once, a vegan kare kare in Miami, and oh, yeah. it was very pale, it didn't have the color, so I didn't know why. So I can add more. It would be nice to have like more color. Yeah. I'm sorry, Mike, it's so hot here. Yeah, it's no way. <laughs> I'm gonna add some ground rice and then ground peanuts. Nice. Yeah, that I roasted. What is it? So it has, it will add more flavor, ah, I think. Okay. Nice. For me, uh, I always experiment. So this one will make it thicker. Nice. I prepared the steamed vegetables. Ooh, nice. Some will fry it, but I prefer the steamed ones. Wow. So what do we have? Pet um, chai? Pet chai, there's eggplant, the banana heart. And then string Ooh, beans. Oh, nice. That looks delicious. Nelly loves banana hearts. Ah, okay. I also have the shrimp paste. Oh, wow. So it's all ready. Perfect. It's a Look good that. shrimp paste. It's all good. Mm, it this will be so really good. good. This is really good. For sure, this is good. This is made with love. <laughs> <laughs> Lux something. I think more peanut butter. More peanut butter? Yeah. I think Kara Kara can never have enough peanut butter, right? <laughs> Put as many as you like. Before I mix the fish with, the with all these ingredients, I already put the salt. Ah, okay. Yeah. To taste just here in the fish. Nice. 
Yep. So what kind of fish do we have here? Um, liplipan. I don't know what's that in English, though. It tastes like salmon. Okay. And even the color looks like salmon. Yeah, it it's does. RNG. Yeah, it's very common here in in Shargal. So I have all the onions. So, and I love to have a lot of um, lime. Nice. Because it um, gives uh, a really good smell, and it's lemony. And it's also ginger. Is that That's ginger. ginger. Nice. Yep. So here. Our ceviche, our local ceviche, uh, it's very common that we use um, coconut milk. Nice. Yeah, we love coconut milk. If you mix this with um, fish, tendency is it will not be really soaked in vinegar mm -hmm. because um, it balance, the coconut milk balance the acidity. Mm. And this is uh, this is a local vinegar. local vinegar. Nice. Yes. You said there Hi. was going to be kare kare and kare kare, and then there's um, there's seafood much more. pasta. <laughs> yes, there's much more. So, what, so I what made this um, Jen's favorite, the salad, the pomelo salad. Oh, nice. So yeah, this one, this one I ordered. <laughs> <laughs> Mix and match, right? <laughs> my my kitchen is too small for a lot of dishes. So yeah. But yeah, I made kinilaw and um, kare kare and then the pomelo salad. Uh, looks very delicious. Thank you for having us. Thank you, Zach. You're welcome. You're, you're welcome to Casa anytime. It's family. Yeah. <laughs> So here we have the long awaited kare kare. I'm gonna get a nice bit of rice, some of the meat, a bit of the sauce, all of my sauce here. Such a beautiful peanut flavor. <laughs> little touch of spiciness. There's a lot of a lot of different flavors that come together here. Mm -hmm. mm. So nice. It's very rich, succulent. I love the meat. <laughs> That's what you say. <laughs> <laughs> That's how we do food vlogs. Let's eat it with this. Oh, oh yeah. the shrimp paste. Yeah, mm. That's perfect. Mm. Mm -hmm. The shrimp paste just gives that extra layer of flavor. It's very subtle. Mm -hmm. but like, it comes after the peanut. You get the kind of shrimp flavors in there. Really nice. And we are not here by ourselves. We are actually with a group of Hi. really cool friends. friends. Yes. Oh, look at that. What a beautiful setting. Um, so here we have Cece. Hi. Jesse. Hello. Jean. Hi. Zati. Hello. Jen is hiding over there. <laughs> <laughs> Paolo. Hey. And Mike. Hi. And me. <laughs> Alright, Nelly, what are you trying? Uh, so I'm trying the Kini Love because it's one of my favorites. And I heard that the pomelo salad is really good. It's Jen's favorite, right? Okay. Mm. Mm. Perfect. Mm. Oh, good. Chicken skin. So nice, really nice. Yeah, super super refreshing. Nothing. I didn't tastes say super healthy, so I don't have to feel bad. Mmm. Koji. Yum. We have some red onions. Second thing that I'm trying is the pomelo salad. Seems very refreshing as well. It's super hot here, uh, very humid, so I, I was actually craving some salad. Oh, here we go. 
Mmm. Mmm. It was glass. It's with glass noodles, full of good, good stuff. <laughs> Paolo, what do we have here? I have no idea, but I on my second serving. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we have. Uh, I believe it's pork belly and pork ribs mm -hmm. in uh, kind of a chili sauce. Mm -hmm. yeah. Garlic chili. Garlic chili. Oh, perfect combination. Oh. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh that is nice. Spicy. Garlicky, nice and rich. Got a little bit of like chili oil flavors in there. Mm -hmm. Oh, that is so nice. So here we have another very beautiful dish, very Filipino. It's the pork knuckle. Um, I've had it as a crispy platter, but I've never had it. This is like more stewed, right? Okay. okay. Got some rice on there. Mmm. That's very really nice. Yeah. Mmm. I think you, you can't never say no to uh, pork. <laughs> it's so tender. It just falls apart in your mouth. And you got that little bit of connective tissue that just gives it that hint of richness. So beautiful. If you've never had pork knuckle before, it is such an awesome dish. There's so much flavor in there. Wow. Oh, this food was so delicious. It was really nice to have home cooked food again. It's like a nice change from like getting restaurant food and there was so much food so delicious so many new things that we've tried oh so so lovely and now we're gonna have dessert i believe a very famous carrot cake here <laughs> on the island from kaimana right, right. Yes. yes it's the best, it's the best i heard one. yes it is. <laughs> i heard it's the uh, best carrot cake in southeast asia there's actually only one place in china that has a really good carrot cake that comes just close but not quite <laughs> But that's not Southeast Asia. There was actually a, uh, uh, actually a, a video of Anthony Bourdain. He came here to try this carrot cake, but they never released the video. <laughs> so uh, we'll just have to do that for him. <laughs> so here we have the famous Kaimana carrot cake. Thank you. Thank you. Guys, this cake is phenomenal sweet juicy creamy on top oh sati thank you so so much this thank was you so delicious so amazing oh, it's such a good time thank you so much here's a fun fact um i heard that sati cooks very spontaneously there are no, no, no defined I don't have recipes. recipes you cook by feel my by heart yeah because <laughs> that's how i told you this is gonna be good because it's cooked with love. Wow. Yes, we agree. We even said that uh, early on in the video. So yeah. really yeah. nice. So you guys should come back. Yes. For more. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Perfect. Okay, guys, we are closing the vlog right here. Um, it is close to curfew. We have to head back to our villa. Um, but that was it for today. I hope you enjoyed this food vlog. I know it has been a while since we did like a proper, proper food vlog. So give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Uh, subscribe if you aren't subscribed yet. And hit the notification bell for the next videos. Because there's something exciting happening tomorrow and you don't want to miss that. So... We'll see you guys tomorrow. Did same I say time, it? Same place. Yes. <laughs> Remember to stay awesome. Be positive. And? Make it happen. Bye-bye.